Hey guys, Mr. Mac here with another art lesson, and today we are making the very hungry caterpillar using paint. Ooh. Don't worry, parents, it's not too much paint and it's fairly controlled, uh, but I, I do think it is the best way to do this method. Um, so you're going to need some paint. I'm using just cheap, ready mix paint. You could use uh, powdered stuff. You could use acrylic if you got it. You could probably even do this with um, chalks with a bit of water um, crushed up. <laughs> really anything you've got lying around at home would be absolutely fine. So you're going to need a couple of balloons or something else that you can stamp the paint with. So it could be um, a sponge, preferably a round shaped thing, or anything else that's round, bottom of a glue stick, uh, anything you can find that's round, because we want to create those round little sections of the caterpillar. So the first thing I've done is I grab my palette, I grab a piece of card um, and my balloons. We've got two different balloons, just so that we don't mix the colors up because the caterpillar has got a green body, a greeny, yellowy, bluey body, and a red head. And because they're opposite colors, if we mix them, they're gonna go brown. So we wanna try and avoid that, keep our colors nice and bright. So that's why I'm using two different balloons. You could always just wash them in between if you've only got one, that would be fine as well. So I've just splodged a bit of green and a bit of yellow paint into my palette and I've dipped my balloon in and uh, just like if you were using a sponge or you were stamping, I'm just going to pick up some paint with a balloon and splat it onto the paper, making these little circles that are the, the segments of the caterpillar's body. Go all the way around until you've made uh, the shape that you want to make. I just used the cover image as my example, but there's a few different shapes in the book if you, um, if you have it around, you want to have a little look. Um, don't be afraid to go back like I did here and just thicken out some of the bits if they're not quite big enough. Um, <laughs> at this point I realised I missed out the blue paint that I wanted to use, the turquoisey paint. Uh, but it didn't really show up anyway so don't worry about it too much. Then I've got the red um, and I think I'll put two different shades of red there just to try and get a little bit of um, different texture in. And then we have to wait for it to dry once you've got that basic shape down and then when it is dry I, I just left it overnight. When it is dry I just grabbed my um, gel pens. You could use felt tips or biros or even colour pencils, crayons, whatever really. I just grabbed a few different colours, uh, drew all the little furry bits on around the top. Uh, I did a little bit of a yellow border because if you look at Eric Carle's illustration it, it does look like there's some little yellow patches around the outsides. Grabbed a brown pen for the feet. Um, I also drew the segments on just because I thought it might be nice to show those a bit more. Uh, I drew the ears on with some felt tips. Uh, and then here I'm making the eyes. Again, I just looked at the colours that he used and I tried to copy that as best as I could using felt tips. And then, um, so I've done this on a separate piece. Because obviously if I tried to do that yellow and green on top of the red there with felt tips, it wouldn't really show up. So if you Google the very hungry caterpillar, you come up with lots of images that you can just look at for a reference. Make sure you're using all the right colours. If you do this, Please send it to me, let me know what you've been up to. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.